The Inquisition cannot remain a vessel. If she can't prove it was founded on Justinia's orders. Who? What? what? This is an inopportune time, Marquis. More of the faithful flock here each day. But allow me to introduce you to the brave soul who risked her life to slow the magic of the bridge. Mistress Lavelan, this is the Marquis Durellion, one of Divine Justinia's greatest supporters. And the rightful owner of Haven. How does Durellion lend Justinia these lands for pilgrimage? This Inquisition is not a beneficiary of this arrangement. Ah. Uh... Look up your face. <laughs> I, there's got to be like something going. Okay, he probably has a scar or some sort of. I, it cracks me up that his mask has a mustache. Though. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I need the mask to cover up my deformities, but can you add a mustache? But I want a mustache because people should take me seriously. <laughs> like okay, make it yellow and have a mustache. I want to be taken seriously. Yeah. You know? Uh, people always take a gentleman with a mask, seriously. Um, sir, do you think yellow- Yes, this is what will match my outfit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. I thought he was like a jester. This is the first, first I've heard of Haven having an owner outside the Chantry. My wife, Lady Machin of Denver, has claimed to Haven by ancient treaty with the monarchs of Ferelden. We were honored to lend this use to divine Justinia. She is a... She was. A woman of supreme merit. I will not let an upstart order remain on her holy grounds. How is that sticking to your face? Ugh. We all have bigger problems. Okay, weirdo. Demons are pouring from the sky, and you're worried about land claims. Haven is the Durellion's rightful property. Has Empress Selene officially acknowledged your possession of Haven? I was unaware her Imperial Majesty had conferred with Ferenden's monarchs on this matter. The Empress... has not yet had the opportunity to do so. Okay, so... <sighs> we face a dark time, Your Grace. Divine Justinia would not want her passing to divide us. She would, in fact, trust us to forge new alliances to the benefit of all, no matter how strange they might seem. I'll think on it, Lady Montillier. The Inquisition might stay in the meanwhile. We're gonna feel really bad when we see his face, and we're gonna be like, sorry for making fun of you. Yeah, I know. I know, which is why I'm like trying not to say anything, but it's got a fucking mustache on it. I know, you can't mount, come in, like, all right. I feel bad about whatever happened to your face, but I'm still gonna make fun of you for your decisions, so. Of a mustache on your mask. <laughs> Do the Duhelions actually have a claim on this place? His Grace's position is not so strong as he presents it. Despite their Ferelden relations, the Duhelions are Orlesian. If the Marquis wishes to claim Haven, Empress Selene must negotiate with the Ferelden on his behalf. Her current concerns are a bit larger than minor property disputes. Exactly. Good job. Yeah. I'm so pleased the Marquis isn't tossing us out into the cold. His Grace is only the first of many dignitaries we must contend with. You expect more people in Haven? Undoubtedly. And each visitor will spread the story of the Inquisition after they depart. An ambassador should ensure the tale is as complimentary as possible. May I ask, what brought you to work for the Inquisition? Sister Leliana approached me. We've been acquainted for quite some time. For better or worse, being the Inquisition's diplomat has become as interesting as she promised. What sort of dealings have you had with nobility? For some years, I was the royally appointed court ambassador from Antiva to Orle. The nobility of Thedas is a rather singular sphere. Those I'm not acquainted with, I know through reputation. The Inquisition is lucky to have you as an advocate, Lady Montillier. Thank you. Let us hope so. Thedas's politics have become agitated as of late. I hope to guide us down smoother paths. But please excuse me. I've much work to do before the day is done. I've I'm glad they've added the detail of the tongue moving, but it's like happening really <laughs> weird. <laughs> 
It's nice, but like, it's a little weird. Uh, okay, thanks. Children of Andraste. They happened. Oh, there's, Tor there's that lady. Thank you. Oh. Oh. Is that it? No, that's Know Thy Enemy. Oh, so wait. Oh, here she there's, is. That's the lady. You're the Herald. Or, well, the one they're calling the Herald, anyway. I hope the Inquisition can restore order soon. I never really wanted to leave the Circle. My name is Maneve. I research demons and other creatures. Seeker, Pentagast, and I use what I find to help the soldiers fight them. I found something the demons left behind. Can you use it? Yes, that's very helpful. Just leave it there and the Tranquil and I will examine it. Dude, the, the Tranquils that's are the so weirdest fucked up. fucked up. It's like, that's like one oh, of the no, main I'm reasons. I'm perfectly content with everything that's happening. And you're like, really? Are you? Here? Like, are you sure? That's one of the main because reasons. Because you can't be sure anymore. Yeah. Because they took away your right to have feelings. They lobotomize them, basically. Yeah. It's one of the main reasons I side with I the mages. Because they're just so, like, just completely... Just, you know? Yeah. I don't know if a possibility can get exactly that many healing drafts. How far mother? is your quest then to seal the breach? Trying. Damn <laughs> <right now. laughs> if I know. I'm doing everything within my power. A task such as closing the bridge is a heavy burden. I hope you do not carry it alone. We remember Andraste, but Andraste did not carry the Chant of Light alone. She had generals, advisors, and though it is considered heresy to say it, she had the aid of the elf Chartrain. Do everything within your power, but remember those who would help you. I follow elven gods. Thank you. <laughs> You realize that I follow my people's gods, not the Maker. Fair enough. But Andraste lived, and her deeds, however shrouded by myth, have their basis in fact. If you do not believe the Chant of Light, at least consider it a map of the dangers you might face. In any case, I pray this Inquisition proves less brutal than its predecessor. Who's gonna be next? The, the next divine. Do you know who the Grand Clerics will choose as the next Divine? It is a difficult decision. All the obvious candidates perished with Divine Justinia at the Conclave. What about you? The Grand Clerics are terrified of the Inquisition. They will not decide soon, and I fear they will not decide wisely. Of course they will. Whoever were. is chosen needs the Inquisition's support. No one else seems likely to seal the breach. I predict that she's gonna be in that. That's, yeah. I, I mean, no, either that or they'll, like, try to get her in there and she'll be murdered. Inquisition history. Can you tell me about the original Inquisition? The original Inquisition was formed after the first blight, well before the Chantry as we know it. The Inquisitors were hunters, zealots, who tracked and killed cultists and dangerous mages. As Andraste rose to power, the Inquisition came into her service. Instead of hunting those who would do harm, the Inquisitors spread the chant of light by force. Hmm. That's horrible. We're, na we're named after that? Why would we be named after that? It must be difficult to follow the chant of light knowing how it spread. Indeed. I have always believed that the Maker wished us to spread the chant of light by example, not violence. In any case, once the Chant of Light had spread far and wide, there was less need for zealots. Well... The Inquisitors became the Seekers of Truth, and eventually the Templars. So, I'm sorry, to spread the Chant of Light, they basically... They did what the other Inquisition did, and the Crusades did. Yeah, the, that's what I was just about to say, the Crusades, like, where they were just like, fuck you, everybody's going to be part of our religion. And remember when I was like, I wonder if they're using the word Inquisition in a really, like, a way to make us be like, maybe not. Yeah, that's like, a good maybe idea. something's gonna be wrong with this. Yeah, so, I think this is gonna be a lot more complicated than... Yeah. Uh, why bring us back? This is a dark chapter of history for the Divine to revisit. Do you know what impresses me most about the original Inquisition? 
They fought horrific battles, killed and died for their cause, and when it was time, they put their swords away. Perhaps the name was divine, Justinia's message, that when the Inquisition is needed, it will strike without mercy. But when its work is done, it will put its sword but it, away. But it, it didn't put its sword away before they spread the chant of light forcibly to everybody else, so I don't understand. So then they put so, it away because it was over. Isn't that great? As they're like standing on like a million dead. Yeah, I so, don't understand why the, it wasn't needed to spread the chant of light by force, so they should have put their swords away before that happened. Right? Maybe the swords should not have come out yeah. at all. How are the people doing after what happened at the Conclave? They are scared, of course. Many have lost homes or loved ones. I doubt many will sleep well until you have sealed the breach. I have offered what help I can. The rest is for the Inquisition. What more do you wish to know? Farewell. Farewell. Where were Cullen and all of them are? In the war room. Oh, here he is. Oh, you're gonna talk about Cullen. I will keep the peace while you and the others appeal to the Chantry in Val Royale. Better ready yourself for the blame you will be rightly assigned. Fuck you, dude. I can't remember that guy's name, but he's... Mr. Douchebag? Yeah. He's a, yeah. Move, 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 move. Really? <laughs> Felissa said to check. <laughs> Look who's back from the dead. Again. We met? met? I don't recall meeting you before. I'd be surprised if you did. You weren't particularly coherent. Someone had to patch you up after you staggered out of making those wear, though. So, you're welcome. <laughs> Thanks. I mean, thank you. I didn't realize. Thank you. Yeah. Well, you can pay me back by fixing the world. <laughs> Name's Adan. I'm in charge of keeping our little band here stocked with potions and elixirs. Not that Seeker Pentagast seems to care whether we've got the supplies to actually do that. How do I go about having potions made? Just take a look there and tell me what you'd like. Find a recipe for something better, I can make that too. Where? Here? Ooh. 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 Oh, okay, I see what I need to do. So you need a, like a lot of stuff. Okay. Cool. I wonder where do I go to? Blessed are the peacekeepers, the champions of the just. Blessed are the righteous, the lights in the shadow. In their blood, the Maker's will is written. Is that what you want from us? Blood. To die so that your will is done? Is death your only blessing? You speak for Andraste, no? What does the Maker's Prophet have to say about all of this? What's his game? How is this a game? Do you see the sky? What about the temple ruins? The bones lying in the dust? Even if you didn't support the Divine's peace, you wouldn't call this right. Who could? So many innocent lives. The faithful murdered where the holiest of holies once stood. If the Maker willed this, what is it if not a game or a cruel joke? Okay, I just had like one of those brain blasts. What if... Here we go. So go what if Andraste, she was a super powerful mage, and being a mage, she's like and right after right before Andraste got powerful the first blight came because the magisters went into the beautiful city and that city was where the old gods were like kept 
And so then the evil old god came out and he's like, whoa, what is this? Hey, like, what's up, hot mage? And she's like, are you god? And he's like, yeah, I am. Sure. And she was like, okay. And so he did all that stuff for her because he was feeding off of her and she was so powerful. And then when she died, he took her with him. And he was getting powerful because all those people were giving them their energy through worshipping him. Mm. And that's why he's so powerful. And Andraste now is being like, I got to stop this. And is trying to like reach out to somebody. Yeah, she tried the... Yeah, she tried to reach out through us and is like trying to like make this all stop. Yeah. And she had to open she had to open up the rifts to get people to kill him or show his true nature or something. Sounds like you've thought about this a lot. Yeah, I have. Okay. <laughs> I can't speak for Andraste, guys. Like. No. <laughs> I speak for no one but myself, and I have no answers for you. You probably don't even worship the Maker. Lucky. He asks a lot. The Chantry teaches that the Maker abandoned us. He demands repentance for our sins. He demands it all. Our lives, our deaths. Justinia gave him everything she had, and he let her die. Seems like you're losing in your faith. Uh, uh... My sympathies. I would say you could blame her killers, but... But we don't know who that is. Yeah, but then we're seeding it so that she blames the Maker, because the Maker's the Maker. I suppose. But right now she's already blamed... Well, I suppose. Yeah, let's not be a dick, but... I'm sorry. Her death has clearly hit you hard. Not just me. All of us. She was the divine. She led the faithful. She was the heart. If the Maker doesn't intervene to save the best of his servants, what good is he? I used to believe I was chosen, just as some say you are. I thought I was fulfilling his purpose for me, working with the divine, helping people. But now she's dead. It was all for nothing. Serving the Maker meant nothing. Oh man, she is like... Wow. Having a crisis of self here. Uh, uh... Why are you telling me this? Let's just be direct about that. Or what? Or let me help you? As opposed to like, why are you telling me? Maybe you have another purpose. I could help you find it. No, this is my burden. I regret that I even let you see me like this. It was a moment of weakness. It won't happen again. Come, to work then. We will speak later. Uh, sure. Varric, you lighten this shit up. Right? Here, Varric. So, now that Cassandra's out of earshot, are you holding up all right? I mean, you go from being the most wanted criminal in Thetis to joining the armies of the faithful. Most people would have spread that out over more than one day. Um... I don't ever want to choose Teardrop, just because it shows Teardrop. Looks so whiny. Uh... uh I'm just glad to be alive. I'm just glad I'm still standing after all that. I still can't believe you survived Cassandra. You're lucky you were out cold for most of her frothing rage. For days now, we've been staring at the breach, watching demons and Maker knows what fall out of it. Bad for morale would be an understatement. I still can't believe anyone was in there and lived. I'm getting really worried about these, like, approval things, because you know how you have to get approvals to certain levels to do certain things? Yeah. So I'm like, did I do it right? <laughs> if it was that bad, why did you stay? Cassandra said you were free to go. I like to think I'm as selfish and irresponsible as the next guy, but this? Thousands of people died on that mountain. I was almost one of them. And now there's a hole in the sky. Even I can't walk away and just leave that to sort itself out. We need to close the breach. The breach needs to be sealed. The sooner the better. If it can be sealed. You might want to consider running at the first opportunity. I've written enough tragedies to recognize where this is going. Heroes are everywhere. I've seen that. But the hole in the sky... That's beyond heroes. We're going to need a miracle. Well... 
Need something? Oh, what? Questions about Hawk? Yes. I read your tale of the champion, and I have a few questions. That's a pretty common reaction. Go ahead. What happened to Anders? What happened to the mage who destroyed the Kirkwall Chantry? The book never said. He fled Kirkwall with the mages from the Circle. Stayed with them a while. But he had to move on. Somehow a lot of mages blamed him for making them live as fugitives. I don't know where he is now, and I don't want to know. I thought I killed him. Where are the rest of Hawk's associates now? Meryl decided to look after the elves left homeless by the fighting. She's done a pretty good job of keeping them away from the mages and Templars so far. I guess she has plenty of practice avoiding stupid human battles with her old Dalish clan. Fenris has kept himself busy, hunting down the Tevinter slavers who came south to prey on the refugees. I'm not sure exactly where he is at the moment. You can usually follow the trail of corpses, though. Sebastian went back to Starkhaven. I'm sure he's boring all sorts of people there. Hawk's brother Carver is still in the free marches, helping the Kirkwall guard keep order. Aveline is still guard captain. I'm pretty sure Kirkwall would fall into the sea if she quit her job. I thought he came with me. What the fuck? Need something? I read your tale of the champion, and I have a few questions. That's a pretty common reaction. Go ahead. In the book, you say that first Enchanter Orsino turned himself into a giant monster made of corpses. How? Why? Do I look like an expert on magical weirdness to you? Well, I can't tell you how. For the why, all I can say is he was desperate. I don't think he likes you asking all these questions. Well, he needs to answer. Your book doesn't say what happened after the Arishok left Kirkwall. He kind of lost the Tome of Coslin again, along with the thief. As I understand it, he returned to Parvalin to find the Canari equivalent of a court martial waiting for him. There's a new guy named Arashok now, and asking about the old one is a nightmare of logic and grammar. Carry on. The Chosen of Andraste. A blessed hero sent to save us all. Um, sounds, sounds dashing. dashing. Am I riding in on a shining steed? I would have suggested a griffon, but sadly they're extinct. Joke as you will, posturing is necessary. Okay. I've journeyed deep into the fade in ancient ruins and battlefields to see the dreams of lost civilizations. I've watched as hosts of spirits clash to reenact the bloody past in ancient wars both famous and forgotten. Every great war has its heroes. I'm just curious what kind you'll be. It's a jawbone that's around his neck. Oh, it is? Yeah. What do you mean, ruins and battlefields? Any building strong enough to withstand the rigors of time has a history. Every battlefield is steeped in death. Both attract spirits. They press against the veil, weakening the barrier between our worlds. When I dream in such places, I go deep into the fade. I can find memories no other living being has ever seen. You fall asleep in the middle of ancient ruins. Isn't that dangerous? I do set wards. And if you leave food out for the giant spiders, they are usually content to live and let live. Uh, okay. I've never heard of anyone going so far into the Fade. That's extraordinary. Thank you. It's not a common field of study for obvious reasons. Not so flashy as throwing fire or lightning. The thrill of finding remnants of a thousand-year-old dream? I would not trade it for anything. I will stay then. At least until the breach has been closed. Was that in doubt? I am an apostate surrounded by Chantry forces in the middle of a mage rebellion. Cassandra has been accommodating. But you understand my caution. Everyone's skin is so dewy and well moisturized. This guy seems like he could be kind of weird in bed. Yeah, he'd like be... Like, in a good way? He'd be like, all right, now let's join mines. Yeah. And I'd be like, okay. Yeah, okay. And <laughs> yeah. then you look in his head, and it's, like, really weird. And, and he's kinky. like... <laughs> and 
It's like, and you're like, whoa, I, like, did not expect that from you. And he's like, yeah. Where he'd kind of be like, you know, any of the weird stuff that you want to do, I'm, like, totally down. And you're like, I just want to do normal stuff. And he's like, no, like, seriously, any of the weird stuff, I'm totally down. And you're like, I'm not down. He's like, I've seen in your head, you are. And you, Maybe you, you just don't realize it, but you're Remember you're that thing with the stuffed animal? And you're like, how do you know? <laughs> Don't worry, I've done it before. <laughs> and you're like, wait, hold on. I've done all of it. You can trust me. Do you want to flirt? Yeah. You came here to help, Solus. I won't let them use that against you. How would you stop them? However I had to. I'd rip out their Thank guts you. with my bare hands. But now let us hope either neck. the mages or the Templars have the power to seal the breach. Let's go flirt with some other people. I know. Let's flirt with everybody. Do we have to commit? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> hey, Colin! On alienage culture, there have always been alienages. They have been around for as long as elves and shems have lived in the same lands. Ours isn't even the worst. They say that Valroyo has 10,000 elves living in a space no bigger than Denerim's market. Their walls are supposedly so high that the daylight doesn't even reach the Venadel until midday. But don't be so anxious to start tearing down the walls and picking fights with the guards. They keep out more than they keep in. We don't have to live here, you know. Sometimes a family gets a good break and they buy a house in the docks or the outskirts of town. If they're lucky, they can come back to the alienage after the looters have burned their house down. The, the unlucky ones just go to the pauper's field. Here, we're among family. We look out for each other. Here, we do what we can to remember the old ways. The flattiers who have gone out there, they're stuck. They'll never be human. They've gone and thrown away their elven, too. So where does that leave them? Nowhere. Sarathea Haran of the High Ever Alienage.